Hello, it's Scott here from Digital Puppets. Um, I'm part of a cartoon studio that specializes in virtual avatar production and cartoons powered by motion capture animation. Uh, very recently, I've jumped into using Real Illusion uh, Cartoon Animator 5 and I put out a video showing my first test run using this character, which is a simple character, loosely <laughs> based on myself. Um, I didn't go so far as doing the full beard because, you know, I was just figuring it all out and I thought that was just an extra step of complication that I didn't need in the beginning of my process. Um, though I have omitted all the grey hairs that started popping up everywhere now. Anyway, um, I've had quite a few people message me and ask about the fluid um, lip syncing and the oiblings and whatnot because I know with Cartoon Animator, uh, the default for the lip syncing is single frame visiming so and i also know there's some um options where you can have them warp a little bit in that as well but what you can see here if i just you can see that if you look at the mouth there's multiple frames where the mouth is animating into its um into the lip sync shapes so how do I do that? Well, at the moment it's a little bit time consuming, but I thought some people out there might be interested in it. So I'll show you how I do it because that's what we like to do here at Digital Puppets. We share how we work. Right, so as I said, there's two ways to do it. Uh, the way I've done it is the way I've traditionally done it. And then afterwards I'll discuss um, another way that you can now do it in Cartoon Animator 5, which is great. Right, so um, I what I do is... Um, let me just zoom out, find where it is, there it is. Right, so, first of all, I build a mouth rig. And I do that in cut, um, in Adobe Animate, formerly known as Flash. Now you can do this in whatever program you use. Um, but you'll see here that I've built like a mouth rig. So I've got, all this is broken down into layers. So you got your lips and it's currently masked. So if I turn that off, you can see that I've got the um, tongue, uh, the teeth, inner shadow, background, and at the moment I've got it set up for six frames, which I find as uh, if it's a uh, if it's for lip syncing, I usually want it to like ease straight. Well, no, um, jump straight into it. So pretty straight away, it's forming the mouth shape, and then it's just a few frames at the end of sort of movement, just so you. It's just to give it more fluid, uh, TV grade um, quality animation. And so what I do is I build my mouth rig. And as, as you can see down here, I've got all my different mouth shapes. So let's see, we've got like E, D, L. And then what I do is I export them as a ping sequence and again whatever you know software you're using to build your assets whether or not that's Illustrator, um, Photoshop and whatnot you can um, just save them and export them as a ping sequence and then in um, for Cartoon Animator I use Photoshop as my master file but I know a lot of people use Illustrator and in the future I will be using Illustrator but so if it's Photoshop you export it as a ping sequence if it's Illustrator you would export it as an SVG sequence layer it up properly um, embed it into the mouth so if we go out to the PSD file I'll show you how I've got this set up right so if we go close this up a little bit Let's find the head folder and then where are my mouse? Here we go. So I've got all my normal mouths and then what I've got to do is I've got to bring each of them sequences in um, as individual layers um, and these were actually just brought in as ping sequences and dropped in um, but then Cartoon Animator 5 automatically puts them into folders but you can just drag them in as a ping sequence and drop them in to the mouth folder when you do that 
when you go back into Cartoon Animator 5, you'll see that it is um, part of your sprite set. So what I'll do then is make sure I'm clicked on my character, find my sprites, which is here, and then we go to face, and then find which one I've got all my um, ping sequence dropped into. So in this instance, it'll be mouth. And as you can see, you got all your default normal mouth shapes, but all the ones that I've rendered and brought in are all here too. And then it is just a case of going along the timeline and, you know, hitting what, you know, like, so let's say at this point here, I want it to be normal mouth. I just hit that and it drops in the sprite that you want. Now, I know you're looking at this and you're thinking it's going to take ages to go along and individually drop in all the different mouth sprites and you're not wrong it does take time i did it on this one just to demonstrate how it could look and how it could work i also did it for the eyelids you can see here i've got a whole bunch of different eyelids and the eyebrows um just so i could more from the way that i wanted it to um and again i know you can do that in cartoon animator 5 the eyebrows particularly and the eyelids stretching them up and down um but it was just something that I was trying out and seeing if it worked or not. Um, because whilst you can do that with the eyelids and you can do it with the eyebrows, um, it would have been more difficult with the mouth. Um, now, whilst it is time consuming to do it like this, if you were able to, so let's say I've just dropped in all the frames here for, you know, like the ah, mouth opening up. So you've got frame one, two, three, four, five, but well, that's an email, but you know, like, of the mouth opening up now if i was able to save those frames like you can save emotion but only save those frames and then just drop them back in so if i'm listening and it's like right this is an e so drag and drop e mouth um now it's making a sound drag and drop a mouth you know that doesn't take very long because you're just going along e a l f mm -hmm. you're dropping them in you know it's not a long process um and the difference between looking at a single frame mouth and a mouth which is um, multiple frames there is a big difference it, it's a difference between something looking perhaps a little bit more amateurish to a bit more what you might expect to see on a tv cartoon show um so yeah hopefully in the future if there's a, um, an ability where you can bank and save um frames and then like drop them back in that will speed up the process immensely um so fingers crossed on that and you wouldn't just stop with the mouth like i said you can um you know the eyebrows and the eyelids you know whenever you make any expression if you was able to save what you've done and then like bring them in you know it just triggers bring it in as a trigger that would be great that would be a massive bit of a game changer for the software so you know now the other thing i said is whilst i have imported a ping sequence the other way to do it is to basically what you can see here instead of me doing it in character animator which in the past i had to do it that way other programs i used didn't allow me to do any editing on the timeline but the great thing about cartoon animator 5 is i can do now so in the future what i would like to do is actually rig up the mouth in cartoon animator 5 so i'll bring in the lips i'll bring in the mouth surround i'll bring in the teeth i'll bring in the tongue and then in a timeline i'll animate you know the mouth moving into an a shape into an e shape into an f shape and again if we was able to save those frames and save them as a trigger to quickly drop in later you know that will be brilliant um and the nice thing about doing it that way is that you know even though you drop them in you would still have the ability to tweak each one so they're not identical so whilst they're talking you can keep them you know whatever but maybe at the end of a sentence if they're um holding a sound you know a vowel or whatever for longer um drawing out a word you know you'd be able to adjust the timeline so that it holds for a bit longer or they 
move into the mouth a little bit quicker or slower whatever at least you've got the ability to do that and that's the thing that i think is really exciting about cartoon animator 4 is that it gives you a much greater ability to really go into detail and do very advanced animation um and all i'm talking about at the moment is about you know doing that more advanced like lip syncing and whatnot um this video isn't about the other stuff you know i'll make up a video soon uh, talking about how you can you know do the more advanced motions and whatnot and use the full body motion capture suit to really speed up action animation but anyway like i said i've been asked a few times how i did it so i just wanted to record this video quickly just to show you if anybody has any questions leave a comment below whether or not you're watching this on youtube or in the group in facebook or send me an email at info at digitalpuppets.co.uk bye <laughs>